this is a windmill. I'm going to call this a windmill because this is where we really stretch out the hip and the side of the back over the top. So don't worry in this position, yeah? Think about lengthening over. And brilliant. Taking your um, hands together, interlace, and then just dropping your chin down towards your chest. And then place your hands back and then open back. And then placing the hands through onto the top of the pelvis. Let's take the heels away from us and then just rock forward and back. Yeah, so it's like a little rock through. What? And then you're going to place your feet down and then just circle. So it's about circling the weight through the feet. So you can feel your weight move from your left and to your right. And then stop somewhere in the center. And then we're just going to walk the pelvis as we always do forward and back. Now, we're going to work each area of the body with the kinetic chain, with the shoulders, the neck, the spine, the hips, the knees, and the ankles in three planes of movement. So we're going to push the body into working through sagittal plane, which is used to quite a lot. A little bit into transverse, which is not used to, and um, and frontal plane as well. So three plane. Okay, placing your hands just on top of your hips, and then it's just move side to side. So all I'm doing is just releasing my heel away from the ground. Release. And then I'm going to take my hands at the lower part of my ribs, and I'm going to make some circles. And I'm going to make some circles the other way. Again, try and keep your shoulders still. Okay. Come in here to the top. Come forward again and then back. So we're going to find this optimum position where we feel our bodies are most comfortable today. So I want you on this one to come as far forward as you can and then as far back as you can and then come somewhere into the center. I want you to pedal push the Pedal push the feet, yeah? So you're just releasing. So you're taking your heel away, taking your hands together into a little fist, and then open and close. Just stretch those fingers. So we're, we're releasing through those hips, and we're stretching the fingers at the same time. And stretch. And then, if the mind lets you, and the brain fog is around, then we're gonna go into a little snake. Little snake. Three, two, one. Place the hands down. Wrap around and wrap around. Two more. One and two. Placing your hands together and then just push your left hand into your right and then your right hand into your left. That's it. Over we go. And then push away. Place the palm down on your right side lift up and then take it over that's a nice long stretch coming down palm face to me and then over okay to the top. so face your shoulders back and down i want you just to tilt your um, chin towards your chest and then bring it back now our neck this fact feels odd for some people to do this but our neck needs movement absolutely essential needs movement flexion extension rotation because from the age of seven years old yes seven years old we start to lose the blood supply to our discs our vertebrae so we need movement okay then from here i want you to just drop your, I'm going to start on the left side, drop your left ear to your shoulder, not here, there, drop the head down, okay, take the right arm here, take it away from the body, and then just kind of circle it around, now this is called gliding, and we're going to move the wrist in what, any way you want to, yeah, flexion, extension, so what we're trying to do is release the tension through the nerves as well as the muscles, okay, so this is called gliding or flossing right so releasing any way you like 
releasing the tension from the nerves, going through the nerves and the muscles up to the top. Then over we go. Take your left arm away and then just move it. Any way you want to. Relax in the neck. So floating through, gliding through that hand and then maybe a bit with it, reflection, extension. There we go. So creating less tension in the nerves as well as those muscles. And then up to the top. Place your hands on top of your shoulders and then just circle around. And two, and one. Okay, placing your hands down. Take your right arm up and push back. So as you come back, I want you to kind of push as far as you can, yeah? So go back, push, yeah? Go back, push, yeah, you've got the idea. So we go up, push back, the other side. Up, push back. Now, as I come up here, I'm gonna take my arm back, yeah? up and through and back now how much of a range are these shoulders huge joints ball and socket and then the other side they need movement in three planes yeah they need as much movement as possible keep that um, shoulder nice and strong and flexible one more time right. and take your arms up to the corner so I'm just bringing my arms in slightly. So rather than here, bring them in slightly. Then I'm going to cross over in front. Up to the corner into a V and then down in front. Now I'm going to change this. So can I bring my hands behind my back? Yeah. So you're going to come up and then cross it back. Up. Can you get your hands behind your back? And then cross the arms over. So the right arm can go back and then the left arm on top. Yes, yeah? so you just cross it over, alternate between the two. Which side is more comfortable for you? One of each. So up to the top, into the center. Up to the top, take it back. Up and through and lower. One more, up and through and lower. Okay, hands to the side of you, wrap around. Let's wrap. To release them. So we need the nutrients, guys, to get to the vertebrae, and that's where movement is absolutely key with all joints of the body. Tilt forward and lean into this position. Okay, take your right arm, lift up and lower, and again, I take your left arm and do the same. So you're gonna lift and lower. Okay, now take your right arm into a fly. So there's your different plane of movement into frontal. Yeah? And then the other side. Up. And try not to move and stretch the body. Yeah? Then circle for two. One. Now can, look at yourself in your monitor. Can you get your arm all the way around? Yeah? Okay, two more on the right. How is this feeling? Ball and socket joint. Big, big joints, ladies, big joints. Need movement. Okay, bringing it through from here, coming into a little extension, and then up into your flexion. And away into your extension, and into flexion. Two more. One, and two. Now bring yourself into a little flat back position, taking your hand at the side of your head, let's add in some rotation to the spine. So over and lift. And try not to, as you're twisting, we're not this, yeah? you're not in this position. Through and under and lift up. Let's do four on the other side, so four on each side. Hand to the side of the head, then drop it down and lift it up. Again, is one side easier for you than the other? If you've got better range. Again, so it's not just through the spine, through the thoracic into that rotation. You also work it through the shoulder as well. That we go. Okay. Take that down. 
and down, come back into an extend, and then into flexion, and then to roll that out. Rolling through and shoulders back and down. Okay, I'd like you to take your right leg in front of your left. We're gonna, this is this is a bit of my section of the class, it's about hips. So we're gonna open up through the hips and open up the vertebra, intervertebral discs. Okay, you're gonna get a bit of hamstring here. So from this position, right leg over your left, I'm gonna break down at the hips and notice that my back is flat and then just hold it there. So opening up the vertical bits in a flat, flat position. Try and keep the head in line with the spine. And then lift up. Yeah, so you hinge up, take it through the other side. So cross it over, left over your right. Hinge at the hips and then bring it down. Bring it down here. Hold in that position. Then you've got a nice stretch in your hands from two. Three, two, one, and then lift to the top. Bring yourself back to the front. Lift up your right knee and then lower. So just like a little lift and just hug that knee, yeah? Take your hands on top of the knee. We're just going to move the arms away. So I'm going to do one, two, that's it. Lift three and four. Okay, now I'm going to bring my chair in. Right. Let's bring our chair in. I'm going to bring my chair to begin with for balance. All right, we're going to do it for balance. So I'm going to add on from this. Make sure you've got enough room there. I'm going to channel through my right side and then I'll come over and change the chair over on the left side. So I'm going to take my knee up and I'm kind of like just going to circle through, keeping my hand on top of the knee and circle through. It's like stir, stir in the pot, all right? Stir the pot. There we go. All right. And then take that down. Give me a hip abduction for four. Now this leg, your left leg is working, taking your weight, three and four, and then push back into a little extension, yeah? The push back. Not placing the foot down, keeping it strong, okay? There, all right, so four knee lifts, one and lower. So I'm pausing at the top. Notice that I'm not bringing my foot down, I'm not using, putting my weight onto the ground. Okay, now I'm gonna take it into an abduction, but I'm gonna sweep it across the body into an abduction and across the body. That's why we need the chair, yeah? Just lightly holding on to it. Better to have that little bit of balance and struggle, okay? Then come into that hip extension. That's it. Three. Two. And one. I want you to turn to face your chair, walk away from your chair, and stretch back through those shoulders, yeah? So I'm kind of pressing down into that chair. Press down. Okay. And then walk it through and then walking it back. So you, as you walk through, so your vertebrae stacks on top of one another. We're going to move the chair to the other side, all right? your other side. Okay. okay, so we're going to stand nice and tall, engaging through the abdominals. Glutes are strong. We're going to lift up and just kind of, kind of stir the pot. Yeah, a little stir the pot, like circling the knee. That's it. And then lower down. All right. And again, hand onto the knee, the warmth of your hand, circle and stir the pot. Three, two, and one. Lovely. Okay, joints are warming up. So we're going to come back for four. One, two. Now notice this leg is not coming down. Three, it's just a touch the floor and down. Now, abduction for four. One, two, three, and four. Now lean forward in the hip extension. Lean forward. One, Two, three, 
and four. Okay, back to four knee lifts. One, to your last set. Your right leg is becoming tired. Yeah, this is now really building up that lactic acid. Now you're going to take it out and take it across. Sweep it away and take it across. One, nearly there, ladies. I know this is hard. Two. Okay, lean into it and then come forward. So into your little leg extension, hip extension, sorry. Forward. Okay. All right, bring it to the top. Walk yourself back slightly and then coming up into a little flexion, right? Into a little flexion there and then away into an extension. Okay, so use your chair. Flexion and extension. Two more. One. And five. Last time. Two. As I come into an extension, from here, I'm going to straighten through. I'm going to walk back into my chair so then I'm standing up nice and tall. I'm going to take my chair just to one side and I'm going to get my mat, all right? So ladies, get your mat, I'm going to go down on the floor and I'm also going to use my chair with my um, with mat. Okay. So have your chair to hand, all right? So we're going to work with the chair as well. Okay, bring your ball down with you as well, ladies. Bring your ball down. Okay. All right, so we're going to roll down together. So we're going to roll it down. Okay, vertebrae by vertebrae. Rolling it down and then walking your hands away. Okay, walk your hands away. And then just pedal push your feet. That's it. Push them. Three, two, one. Okay. From there, I want you to walk your hands away. Now we're going to be here seconds, all right? So walk your hands away, lower down into a plank. From there, ladies, slowly, slowly coming down onto the mat and then lift up. Now this can be a baby cobra or a full. Okay, I'm going to bring my mat around here, this side. I can't see you. Okay, so you're here, so you've gone from a little baby cobra or to a full cobra. Okay, so we're going to work through the chest and the shoulders. So you're going to come down, you're going to lift up, and you're going to push back into a child's pose. Okay, so working the chest and the shoulders. So we're going to come forward, we're going to bring it down slowly, down into the mat and then lift up. So this is up to you where you place your hands. If you place your hands wide onto the mat, I'm going to use my chest more. Right? I'm going to use my chest muscles by my hands being wide. Okay. If I take them narrow yeah, and into a narrow position, I'm going to work more my triceps, okay, so the muscles and the back of the arms, just try it, so coming forward, lower it down, triceps, inhale, exhale, and push back. Lovely. And then from there, just take your hands nice and wide, take your right hand on top of your left, And then your left on top of your right. Okay. 
And then from there, I'm going to come, uh, bring it, I'm going to come forward, ladies. I'm going to come into a windmill. So I'm going to bring myself up into a kneeling position. Okay. I'm going to bring my right leg forward, half kneeling. I'm going to bring my left leg round, yeah, from here to here. Okay. I'm going to stretch out my right hip into a windmill. So I'm going to lift up through my right arm. I'm going to place my left arm down on towards the ground, but really, really gently, ladies. I want the lift. I don't want it to be here. Yeah. I want it to be tall and over. So I want the stretch into that hip. So this is called a side windmill. it up to the top. Take that leg around, push that leg back in, take the other leg through, okay. then take that leg around, just pushing it through. So you you open, the moment you're, you move that foot around, you're opening up the hip. Okay, and then from there, we're going to come down. So we're going to take the right arm up first, get the stretch here, take down the left hand, sorry, the right hand, left arm up, got my left and right ball now, my right hand down, my left arm over, yeah, over we go. Hold there, three, two, one, and then lift to the top, okay. See if this is going to work. What you're going to do from here is you're going to just bend through the knees, coming back, push it back, and then into a little seated position. Bringing that leg around, so you've brought yourself down and in a seated position. Take your mini ball and place it just behind you. Okay, so that's in that position. So press back on the ball to begin with. Okay, pressing back on the ball. And then take your arms away. Now your legs, I'm gonna give you the option, right? Because I don't often give options on legs. I don't get you to do what I, what the position I'm in. Your legs can be bent, your legs can be straight, or they can be in a butterfly. All right, so it's up to you where you want to be. I'm going to put my legs in this position. So as I come back into the ball, I'm going to come into a little half a roll back and then lift up. Okay. So I'm going to do a combination with us today, ladies. We're probably going to end up doing about a hundred of these, but we're going to do a combination of do a little combination. Bring it through. Okay, now I'm going to come with my right arm up and then with my left arm up. So I'm going to do a combination of arms and legs, yeah? So we're going to work with an opposite arm to an opposite leg. We haven't done these for ages, right? This is a little. There we go. Up and press away and in. Yeah, and again. Up. Press away and throw. That's it. Up, press and throw. Okay, now you don't have to use the legs if you don't want to. You can just keep them nice and still. Okay, I'm going to change the arms. So I'm going to open the arms. So I'm going to push out one and two. So press back into the ball but without overarching the back. Three. And four. Okay, coming up, bow and arrow. So I'm gonna follow back. I'm gonna look at my elbow that goes behind me. And then I'm gonna come back the other side. And then up to the top, that's it. So follow back your elbow, follow it all the way back. And then lift it up. So shall we bring in an opposite leg to an opposite arm, yeah, push back. Again, you don't have to if you don't want to. Push back, that's it. And again, pull back. And pull back, lovely. Let's just do four more. If you don't want to use the legs, you don't have to, ladies, okay? Just leave the legs still and you can place them with your knees bent. One more time. OK, 
Okay, coming up to a seated position. Take the soles of your feet together and then just press down on the inside of your thighs. Doing. Okay, let's just place our hands behind us. Keep the butt, the spine stacked, so don't slouch into it, yeah? And then just rock it over. Over. And again. Well, now an alternative to this is we can take away the left leg, take your hand onto the right leg, place your left hand behind you and push down. To try not to roll over. I, I did to begin with, and I realized I shouldn't do it. Yeah. Try and stay with your spine is stacked and push it over. Now, today, I've done a lot of cycling on the weekend, and my legs are really, really stiff. So are my hips, yeah? Try it the other side. Right? So placing your hand there, then coming over. Now, with one side, this is definitely my easier side. Is one side working better for you? Over we go. Okay, one more time. So over. Begin to press down that little bit further every time you come down. Okay. Taking the ball and now place it between your knees. We're going to come down. We're going to come down onto the mat. So coming up and through, lifting up, chin to chest, and then we'll roll it back. Taking your legs into a tabletop position, squeeze the ball, arms are down and open, palms are to the floor. Just coming over and give me a knee roll to your right and then over to your left. Okay, let's go for a full stretch. So I'm going to come over to my right side, take my weight all the way down. I'm going to look over my left shoulder. Just allow the lower back to relax. Okay, and then up to the top. And as you roll over, allowing the thighs to drop down and then looking over your right shoulder. So your stretch is all the way through from the side of your back into your lower back, your hips, and to your knees, your ankles. and then coming up to the top taking the ball away place the feet down tilt your pelvis ladies and just take the ball underneath you okay ball underneath you again keep your arms open to make sure yeah i've got enough room <laughs> okay taking your legs up into a tabletop position all right tabletop so knees to hips and knees to ankles i want you to flex the foot and take that away from you now as i take that away the left leg stays still, okay? And then I come into my tabletop. So I extend, Let, as you go into that extension, so you should feel that hip flexor open. Okay, so we come down and lift. Down and lift. I'm gonna keep us in this position probably for the next five minutes. All right, so I'm going to do some work with you. Scissors, frogs in this position on the ball. So I'm going to change this from sagittal plane into frontal plane. So I'm going to come one, open two, <laughs> open two, <laughs> close three, back to four. One, open two, back to three and into four and again one two three four one two three and four and again ladies extension open in and back make sure you extend the leg away as you open in and back. Okay, bring the knees into the chest. Let's have a quick breather here. It's a little rest there. Okay, now remember Mary Poppins. 
And remember Mary Poppins, with your feet, heels together and your toes apart. I'm going to push my legs up to the ceiling. Yeah. And then I'm going to bring them in, in towards my chest and then push away. Yeah, so in. So the easier position is here, up to the ceiling. And the harder position is when we push away. So I want this to be your decision, right? I don't want you to cheat and not do any of them, but I want you to think about, are you gonna come in and push away? Or are you just gonna stay at the top, all right? So again, you've got the hips opening. So as we open out through that pelvic floor, or as we open the hips, we make those pelvic floor muscles work even stronger. That's it. In and through and away. You've got one more. In and lift and down and 45 degrees. Okay, bring the knees in, breathe a number two. Okay, there. Right now, scissors. Right, we're going to do scissors. This is my last one in this position on the beam. When we do our scissors, ladies, normally we're, we're off the ball. Sometimes we get on the ball, but our feet are normally in a sagittal position. But scissors today, I want this back to Mary Poppins. Right? Only because inner thigh work and pelvic floor muscles in the thigh. So I'm going to bring my right leg down. Notice it's still in Mary Poppins shape and then I'm going to lift up and then the other side. So I'm going to start with a single leg drop and then lift up, yeah? So bringing it from Mary Poppins down and then as you lift, you can change into that scissor position. And so keeping those feet flexed, keeping the toes open into external rotation, always thinking Mary Poppins and out to the side. And when you start to get tired, you lose that concentration. Before you know it, your feet are back into sagittal. They really want the inner thighs to work through this exercise. Okay, four more. One, and two, lovely. Three, and four. Okay, now bring both legs up. Bring them into the chest, take them down onto the ground, lift away from the ball, take that away from you and bring your coccyx down onto the floor. Open your arms, bring your knees into the chest and then roll them over. Okay, and now just look over your left shoulder. Okay, up and over and then over to the other side, and then looking over your right shoulder. Oh, lovely. And then coming into the center, lift away your head, neck and shoulders, and then coming into a seated position. Bring your chair around. To begin with, coming through into a kneeling position, I'm going to press down into my chair and I'm going to take my thumbs up to the ceiling. All right, so my thumbs are up to the ceiling. And I'm just going to lift each arm. Now, this is tough, ladies. Yeah, this is a really tough exercise to do. We're going to use it for a stretch in a moment. Yeah. Try and keep the back stable. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Now I'm going to turn on my side, come around to face you. Okay, from here, I'm just going to press down into that chair. Yeah, so I'm pressing down, really getting a lovely stretch here into my shoulder. Yeah, coming down into the ground. And then look away from you. So your right hand onto the chair, turn your head. So it looks over your left shoulder. Bringing it up and through, take your hand down. Coming into an extension. And then into your flexion. And again, 
into your extension. That's a wonderful stretch through the shoulder. All right, coming up into kneeling and bring your chair around the other side. So from there, take your right hand down, pressing down. So you're almost like really creating that stretch into the shoulder. That is a wonderful stretch, ladies. And just fold it there. So this is something we can't do on our own. Yeah, we can't just find this stretch at its depth. So pressing into that mat, into the chair, and your right heel of your hand into the mat. Okay, now look over your right shoulder. Okay, taking your hands down, knees are wide, coming down into a child's pose. Place your right hand on top of your left and allow your head to relax. And then take away and then over on top. And then from there, walking through those hands in, and then going into all four position, tuck your toes under, and then just pedal push the feet. That's it, pedal push. All right, from there, ladies, I want you to walk your hands in towards your feet, and then you're just going to slowly, slowly roll it up. Okay, roll it up to the top. Roll it up to the top. I want you to place your right foot in front of your left. I want you to hinge at the hips, hinge down, and then just press into it. Up, cross it over, circle back on the right arm for four. So hopefully your right arm now, after doing those stretches, you get a little bit more movement into it. And then left over, hinge down through those hips, back is flat, and then just hold it there. Remember, this is all about opening the intervertebral discs. Hold it there. So you've got hamstring stretch too. Okay, and then lift to the top, taking your foot over. Doesn't look like my walk is going ahead at one o'clock today. <laughs> four and down, three, and last time, and four. Placing your hands on top of your shoulders, and then just roll it back. Okay, three, two, and one. We're gonna do a calf stretch. I'm gonna use it where, I'm trying to use equipment that you've got in your house that you can stretch. So. You can use your door. I'm just going to use my settee because I want to press into something. So I'm going to take my right leg back, okay, and I'm just bending at my left knee and I'm pushing into the settee, yeah? So if I was to do it here on my own, I'm not going to get stretched so much into that uh, calf muscle. But if I push, I resist against it. There's a lovely one straight. And close it up, and then the other side. So press back. That's it. Oh, isn't that a lovely stretch? And then lift up to the top. Okay, standing windmill. What we did when we were kneeling, we're going to do it standing. It's not a quite as effective, but I want you to place your feet to about a 45 degree, okay? About a 45 degree. You, you won't get the hip stretch that you did when you were on kneeling, half kneeling, but I'm going to show you anyway. Taking your right hand down and press over. So you've got the stretch in your hip. You've got it there, but 
for me personally, it's not as deep as going into that half kneeling. But still, you've got a lovely opener here. And then up to the top. Taking your feet, shuffle around, 45 degrees. That's it. Left hand down, right arm over, stretch. So it's a real long stretch that you want there. Three, two, one, and bring it up to the top. As your hands together, just drop your chin to your chest. Let's open out to the upper back. And then bring it in and then just shuffle around. Begin to pedal push the feet. And then we're going to clench and open. Clench and open. That's it. Two more, one, two. Okay, bring your hands down at the side of you. I'm gonna go for a full roll down now. A roll down, not a fold down, a roll down, lovely. Remember to bend your knees at the bottom. You just got that, not so much of a strain through your lower back. And then inhale, 